So we're just basically going to copy um, these commands over on this Medium article that I wrote up about this. This is using uh, the latest release of Rockham, um, and this will just install it onto Ubuntu. I'm assuming you've got Docker installed already on your machine. Um, but yeah, you basically just run those four commands to get Rockham installed on your local machine, and it'll take a little bit to get that running, so I'm gonna speed that up. Okay, so then you'll just, um, we're gonna pull the Docker container next, and so that'll pull the latest PyTorch from there, and this is going to take a minute depending on your internet connection and how fast you can extract stuff. So I'll speed this up. Now that we've got that container, we're going to run it and make sure that we can import Torch and check if uh, CUDA is available. And that should return true if everything worked. I've got my 6900 XT working. It's visible in PyTorch inside this Docker container. So everything is working, at least from what I can tell now. So now we're just gonna come into one of these uh, directories that they had pre-installed and run some tests. And I'm going to monitor uh, the GPU utilization watching uh, Rockham SMI every 10th of a second. So you can see the GPU utilization over there on the right in percentage terms and how much power it's pulling and how much VRAM it's using for all of these tests. Um, there are other ways to do this for TensorFlow um, and that's in the AMD uh, documentation. I'll post a link to that because they may come out with newer versions of that and this video might be dated by then. But yeah, this is how I get uh, PyTorch up and running on my AMD 6900 XT. Hopefully this helps you guys and have a wonderful day.